um, thank you very much. It's really a honor to welcome you and to have you as part of um, the all new Transit Custom launch. Um, and it is actually quite, it, it's really pleasant to be actually talking about a vehicle other than Ranger or Everest at this particular point in time, but a really important part of our portfolio. I'm with Hanley Daniels. He's the Product Communications Manager for South Africa. Hanley, we've had a good day. We did. Launch of the new transit, which you link to a corporate responsibility project as well. You'll see lots of that in this video. Yeah. But right now it's about the new transit. It is. What's changed on the exterior, in particular from the previous model? Um, the vehicle is a lot more aerodynamic than before, about okay. 30 per, 13% yeah. most, mostly. So you'll get a lot of fuel savings out of that. Okay. It's also 100 kilograms lighter. And a lot longer. And You've a lot extended longer. the wheelbase by quite a bit, eh? We did, yeah. Yeah. So look at the length of the vehicle over here. You can see it is really long. Hanley, let, Hanley, let's have a look at the inside here. Okay. Now, what's important is the interior of this vehicle because it's, it's about carrying loads. Indeed, yeah. Okay. This one's got the sliding door on the passenger side only, curbside. Yeah. But you do offer the option of a dual sliding door. We do. On we the do other side. Offer that option, yeah. But it's an option. Same as the uh, divider here. Correct. Is an option as well. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, I'll show you from this side, you've got the barn doors at the back, the dual barn doors. They open 180 degrees. 180, that's correct. So, for example, you can reverse it right up to a load bay mm -hmm. for easy loading. Exactly. And then when yeah. you do, you get about um, 1.2 tons. You can, you can actually load three pallets back to back to back. Okay. And another interesting feature we picked up during the time we've had with it is you've got LED lighting inside the vehicle. It's not on now, but it, it was so bright inside. So, mm -hmm. for example, a courier company delivering parcels, mm -hmm. you've got the light to read the name on the parcel. That's correct. Yeah. It may seem like a little thing, but I promise you in practical use, it's going to make a difference. Another yeah. change is the load is 100 mils lower than the previous model. Have, have I got my number right? You do. Um, yeah. So now it's under 2 meters, which, which was critical from the feedback we got from the previous gen vehicle. Okay. So now it can go into areas where the, the previous gen couldn't. Right. So for parking areas, things like that. Exactly. Right. Now, engine-wise, it's a 2-liter diesel. That's correct. Okay. 100 kilowatts. Yep. 360 newton meters. Yes. Have I got my numbers right? You do. And at the moment, 6-speed manual only. 6-speed manual only. But on you're going to still be changing that. Yeah. The other thing is, I, I don't think it'll open now, but add blue. Add blue. Correct. So it's got the add blue for emissions, for everything. So you guys are trying to be politically correct on top of everything <laughs> else, right? Yeah, emissions. Um, yeah. We're trying to cut that as well. Okay. Yeah. Great. Now you're going to see a lot of it on the road now. And let's have a look on the inside because there's a lot you guys have done on the inside as well. Savvy investing is best left to the experts. And when it comes to offshore investing, it's even more important to talk to an expert. Well, Earl Don from Forexpert is the guy you should be talking to for your offshore investments. And here we come out to the vehicles in the garage. They're lined up there ready to go. There's only four vehicles, so it's not a big rotation at all. But look at the neat front end. Aerodynamic, they've, in, they've improved the... Uh, aerodynamic factors of it they've improved in this is our vehicle right here and let me show you a few quick features and points on it because that's important have a look first of all look at the cab it really is a luxurious place it really is going to be comfortable i can tell you that lots of storage places lots of hidey holes and then you come we got the single sliding door on the side only not the dual i don't think that matters but look at the lighting in the back that's an important feature as well led lighting in the back for example, for parcels, etc., that you can actually read the label. Nice thinking by Ford on that. Tie-down hooks over there, you can see things like that. And then you come around to the back. It's got the barn doors at the back that open 180 degrees, so you can reverse right up to a load dock, things like that. Now, there's only one version at the moment, powered by a 2-litre diesel engine, 100 kilowatts, 360 newton meters of torque, 6-speed manual gearbox. That's the standard version at the moment. That's what we're living with. That's what we're going to experience. And you'll see a lot more during the day. 
Our first stop, and this is for the CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility Project from Ford at Santa's Shoebox Project. We're loading up. Look at this. Look how much fits in the back of this transit. That's the point. The sliding door on the side making it easy to load. Plus, of course, the doors that open sideways on the back as well. They're loading from both ways. Look at how much this vehicle takes. It's not about weight. It's about bulk. There is so much space in the back here. We're not even full yet, that's for sure, but you can see exactly. But we're going to be obviously dropping these off just now, and that's what it's about. CSR Corporate Social Responsibility, they're closing up the doors. Our van's not even full, but I don't think that's what matters. It's going to head out now, and we're going to go and deliver, because delivery is the crux of the whole matter here today. That's what we're here for. That's what we're doing. And we'll be moving on in a couple of moments. Okay, we're on the road in the transit vans. Miles Dowling from Biz News, my driving partner for the day. Hi, Alan. How's it going, man? Well, thanks, and you? Good. You're doing a sterling job there. We've got a fuel economy challenge as well. We had it at 6.1 a while ago, but we've been in traffic now. It's gone up slightly, but who cares? Miles, get there. this transit van, where would you expect a 13-inch infotainment screen in a van? Not, not in a van, not one that I've seen. Yeah. And then you've still got a TFT screen for you in front as well. Correct. A configurable okay. display screen, blah, 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 you know? Exactly right. Okay. Six-speed yeah. manual. Six-speed manual with a two-liter diesel. Yeah. Six yeah. Um, I can't remember the 100 kilowatts. 100 kilowatts, 360 newton meters. 360 newton meters. Uh, but what's, what's important is light and easy to drive. Very comfortable relaxed i mean the seats yeah the seats are amazing you've got storage spaces like you can't believe like on top of the dash you've got a massive storage area there you've got another cubby down here you've got storage down there i mean this is a working van without a doubt you've got this big bulkhead behind us to close off okay just got the radio going Okay, Miles, you've got to make a quick swing across. Yeah. But this thing is so light and easy to drive. That's the big thing, isn't it? Very much so. I mean, yeah. Visibility is actually very good, despite mm. having no uh, rear view mirror. Yeah. The side mirrors are. Side mirrors, but you also got a big reverse camera as big well. So, camera. and these are all standard. That's yeah. the point. Everything's standard on the vehicle. Okay, we'll get back to you later with more. As the convoy drives in. Massive, massive greeting party for us. Have a look over there. You can see they're all here waving, cheering. They were expecting us quite obviously, and they're really happy to see us. We're just busy parking and getting organized, and we're going to offload in a couple of seconds and just offload all the vans and do our thing over here. But you can see the community is out in force. Very much so. There they are. There you see the last few vehicles coming in as well. As we arrive in Soweto, this is the reception. The crowds are here waiting for us. They're here to greet us. The vans are around us. The convoy is around us. We're going to offload the goods in a few moments. But you can see Ford CSR project over here that they're going to be delivering the boxes from Santa's shoebox project as well. And everything is going to be coming here. But look at the community. They're out in force. They've been organized here to welcome us, to say hello, to thank us, I'm sure for bringing the goods to them and coming through over here today. Now they're being given goods individually, but I think the bags are bigger than some of these kids from the creche. Look at this. The bag's bigger than, he, than she is, eh? Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 There you go. Hey. Alan. Yama. Here we are in a Ford Transit. Yeah, the new Transit van. Uh, massive, eh? Gee, it's big. Enormous. This thing can carry all sorts of loads. Yeah, uh, and I mean, we showed the bulk that it can take with the load we just dropped off in Soweto at the crash. I mean, it's quite incredible how much you can pack in the back of this thing. Yeah, remarkable. Uh, not necessarily weight, but bulk. Because I'm surprised they say it's only got a capacity of 1.2 litre, uh, tons. Yeah. But then again, who cares? A six-speed manual, very light, very easy, very comfortable to drive. 100 kilowatts from the 2 litre turbo diesel and a massive, massive 360 newton meters of torque. Yeah, it pulls so nicely, eh? I'm pottering along in sixth gear right now yeah. because you set me a target, Miles. I did. You fuel consumption, me, Alan. Yeah. It's all about fuel consumption today. You set me a major one. I mean, you got there showing 6.0. 
it's gone up a bit but I haven't I'm only on the freeway now and I don't know how much freeway I'm gonna get compared to what you have <laughs> all right lots of excuses Alan oh, come on I've got to think of a few more but miles you know what this is a pleasure to drive uh, hey check the screen by the way oh, no. remarkable 13 inch screen 13 inch screen with Android Auto CarPlay yep. CarPlay can even have it wireless if you want uh, brilliant and it's got everything you could possibly ask for in bordering on a luxury car let alone a van yeah that's the incredible thing and price so, what do you think of the price i think it's very very good pricing 692 i think it was minus 100 for for that if you're using it for business yeah i mean i'm rounding off but it's about that eh? yeah, yeah. you're the accountant <laughs> yeah it's about that on, yeah it's about right eh? yeah so you can get into one of these after that for 600,000 rand that's the bottom line and it'll work all day and all all night and all month for you as a working van yeah not shabby at all yeah so i think it does the job it does it well and i must say i'm i'm relaxed behind the wheel that's for sure so comfortable yeah you as passenger yeah the seat's very supportive yeah and it's got i mean it's got air cons and everything else obviously and all oh, something we haven't commented Okay, Hanley, you're sitting very comfortably behind the wheel over there because, you know what, to me, this cab is not a van. This is a luxury vehicle you're sitting in. Yeah, it does feel quite, quite opulent when I'm sitting in Yeah, there. I mean, two very comfortable seats. Something you've done, you've taken out the normal uh, handbrake, you've got an electronic parking brake. So look at this area you've got over here. Mm -hmm. Makes the access access quite if easy. If you don't put this in, mm -hmm. or alternatively just for extra carrying extra goods. And things like that. And talking about carrying extra goods, you've got extra cubby holes like over here. You've got a big cubby hole down here. Look at this load. You know, all the load areas you've got. And fascinating, in order to accommodate that, you put the passenger airbag in the roof lining. It does. It, it comes across and yeah. it covers both passengers. Well, yeah. talking about that, six airbags in a van? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's done that before? <laughs> Am Safe, I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides emissions, safety yeah? is also quite, quite important for Massive, us. Massive, all right. Now, something else that I find amazing, and there's a bit of sun here, so the lighting is not perfect. Yeah. You've got a 13-inch infotainment screen on a van. <laughs> yes, and then yes. you've still got uh, a TFT, digital screen, in front of the driver. That's correct. 12 inches, um, 8 inches of which is config configurable by yeah. the driver. Yeah, right. So, I mean, you've got all of this on, I keep saying, on a van. Exactly. Six-speed manual gearbox. Mm -hmm. Very easy, very comfortable, very light to operate. Quite smooth. Yeah. I found it very smooth while driving. And economy, you guys gave us an economy test. Can I get this into the video quickly? Okay. Okay. You gave us a challenge. We did. And we did. Miles and I won the challenge today <laughs> because we did the whole drive. Congratulations. 6.2 liters per hundred. My gosh, that's amazing. Okay. So... I'm not saying everybody will get that. We were really trying hard. Yes. But that's what you can do. It is. In yeah. a big vehicle like in, this, which yeah. I think is pretty impressive. In the real world, yeah. Last thing, price. It's 692 and 200. Yeah. That's, that's where you start off, but you can add some more options. There are a few extras like that, extra sliding door. Not a lot of options, but there are a few. Yeah, okay. But now, I picked up something which I, f I discussed with Miles while we were driving. Mm -hmm. That's VAT inclusive, right? That's very inclusive. Yes. This is a business vehicle. Exactly. You can claim the VAT back. Oh. Yeah. So you could actually whack 100,000 Rand off that price uh, yeah. for a business. For a business. That yeah. suddenly starts talking, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And I mean, that to me is a bargain. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. On the last generation, you had the sport van version. <laughs> I love the difference, I love the unusual. That one talks to me because I don't need a van for work, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. But I could have one for fun. You can, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Andy, great launch, great event, and as I said, great corporate responsibility uh, added into it. Mm -hmm. So all, oh, all overall, well done. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. And I think you're going to increase your market share with this van, you know, with this new version. We certainly hope so, yeah. Thanks very much. Now, Mark, stand to close. For today. And for today only, because you're in the video. For motor matters, for change cars, and for all things motoring, he's Hanley Daniels. <laughs> Behind the camera, I'm Eleanor. See you next time. Ciao. Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars, 
and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching.